InkProducts.com is now going to release its new COC smart chip for the Epson Workforce WP4020, 4530, and 4540. Okay, now with our new COC chip, you'll be able to mix them with Epson cartridges. Now this, this uh, magenta is showing empty. Now I'm going to show you our new cartridge. And this is the new chip. Now on the market, there's a lot of ARC chips. The biggest problem, after testing these for almost a year now, they can fail very quickly. Sometimes they work very well, but a lot of times they fail. Now, our COC chip is very unique. Also, you can use them with the Epson cartridges. You don't have to put a whole set in. Okay, we're going to give you step-by-step -step color photo instructions, and you'll have this video as reference. Now, what I've done is I've cut out a little square in an old box so I can put the cartridge in. Then I'm going to take out, there's two plugs. This one here, which is the air plug, that needs to be out when you're using the cartridge. But for filling, because I don't want to have ink drip out the side, I just leave it in. Most of the time, it won't take this off. And at the other side of the box, I draw a circle, and I'm going to cut it out so it'll hold the bottle. So I'm holding the cartridge and holding the bottle. Makes it easier when you got to fill. And I cut out this box. And that's going to hold the bottle. Just like cutting a pizza. There you go. And then you'll be able to put the bottle in. See, now it's holding the cartridge and the bottle. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take the cap off. Sometimes there's an inner seal. You want to remove that. Now, we only sell this product using a Ultra Pro pigmented ink. We've tried to use dye base. A lot of companies you sell it with dye base. We found out that it eventually damages the printhead. If you stay with the ink that Epson uses or a similar type that Epson uses, you'll have less problems. So now we're going to fill up. You're going to get a large 30 cc syringe. You're going to fill it up, and then you're going to fill that cartridge. Cartridge will hold about 110 milliliters of ink. It's like buying 15 or 20 Epson cartridges, depending on what size you're buying. Now, on the syringe, it says discard after use. Pay no attention to that. These are veterinarian syringes, and you're not using blood. So, And don't wash them out. After you get done, because you're going to get one for each color, don't wash them out. Now you just take your time, slowly fill it up. Now after you fill it, you're going to put the big plug back in and take the little air plug out that's on the side. You won't use the air plug unless you're going to store the cartridge. You probably won't use it anymore. Now this cartridge is going to hold approximately 110 milliliters of ink. That's a lot of ink. And with the new chip, they're now very stable and they can be mixed with Epson cartridges. Okay, now I always stop filling when I get to this mark right here. It's about one inch from the top. Then I'll be able to put the red plug in, and the only thing you have to do for the first time when you do this, is you're going to have to prime the cartridge. I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll give you a tip to do that. Pull that over there. Now you can take the cartridge out, turn it to the side. Now, this is the micro screen, and these are the mixing valves. So as the printer draws ink in, it helps mix the ink and spin it, because it's a particle ink, it's a pigment ink. That's just like what Epson uses. So now I'll show you how to put and prime the cartridge. The only time you have to prime it, when you first get it, or if you were to run it out of ink. Now I've installed the priming tip. I'm going to take a pair of scissors about a quarter inch from the top. I'm going to cut it on a 45 degree angle. So then I can go in to the front of the exit port of the cartridge and prime it. What I'm priming is I'm going to put ink 
in the micro screen area. Okay, now I've got it in there. Just push it in, and then pull back. You can pull it back to the one cc mark. I'll leave it like that for a minute just to show you. See, it's filled the micro screen area. That's what you want. Now, whatever in here, I can return to the either to the bottle or I can put it back in the cartridge. I'm going to put it in the just back in the bottle. It's easier. Now, because these cartridges have a poppet valve, it can't leak. You don't have to worry about taking them out, having them leak. Okay, now before installing it, I'm going to remove the little air plug. You might want to save it if you want to score them. Now I can put it in the printer. Now with our new COC smart chips, I can mix them with the Epsons. Put it in, close it up, light will go out, it will prime up, and that's it. Now in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to reset that COC smart chip. That was it. That was simple. Now ARC chips, if you did that, you could get all kinds of error codes because you can't mix them with Epson cartridges. But our new COC chips, they can be mixed with the Epsons. Now it showed me that the Epson cartridge was empty, so I just replaced it with our refillable cartridge and the COC smart chip. I'm going to X out, go back in, and let's take another look at that ink level. Now there it is. That Magenta's right up now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up a lot of solid red to make that go down because I want to show you something. But also this is important. It's in the instructions also. When you're printing on these printers or just about any Epson, you can set plain paper, no problem. But you always want to set quality or text image. If you do that, you're going to clean less, the printer is going to run better. It may run slower, but you're not going to have constant cleaning problems. Now the other thing as I pull this up, they're all reporting as genuine Epson. And that's why I think you're going to get less error codes than using an ARC chip. Some of the ARC chips don't show a color. Sometimes they show not recognized. So that's why we like these chips better. Now, just for the video, I've been printing out solid magenta sheets so that I can show you how to reset the COC smart chip. Now, we haven't got any out of ink lights on, so let's go take a look at the monitor, see where the magenta is at. Okay, now I went into properties, ink levels, showing the magenta extremely low. Now I'm going to go reset it. Now you don't have to fill the cartridge every time you reset it um, because there's plenty of ink in it. Just look how much ink you got in there. When it gets to about oh, an inch or two from the bottom, then you want to take it out and completely refill it and then reset it. Okay, now I'm going to push and remove it. Bring it over here. Now there's two little contact points at the very top. Not the two right here, don't touch them. Now with our COC smart chips, we're going to get you this little jumper here. We're going to give it to you. And basically what you're going to do is just contact those two points. So we're going to get a close up for you. Hold it down, they're spring loaded. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, let go. Now we're going to go put it back in. Now remember, I didn't have a light on the screen here. I mean, sorry, on the printer here. But we're going to reset it a little bit earlier. Let me point one more thing out. We give you a little bag that you can stick right to the side. That holds that little jumper resetter that we're going to give you. It has no battery, so you don't have to worry about it having a battery or anything like that. It doesn't require one. Also in the instructions, should you lose this, we show you a simple way 
that you can do it at home. Now I'm back at the screen. You see, I already reset it. This is what's so great about these uh, COC Smart Chips. You can reset them when they're halfway. You can mix them with the Epsons. Uh, they're stable. They just work excellent. That's why we're going over to the COC Smart Chip. Now you can mix them with the Epsons. You can fill them anytime you want, reset them anytime you want. Just a lot easier. When you're using these ARC chips, they're, we've used them, we've tested them, but they just can become unstable because Epson keeps changing the firmware. Now on the COC smart chip, it can detect the change. 